Now, to get to that interview, you mentioned before something that is really, really critical. And I say this to everybody because, like I said in the opening of the show, gone are the days where a company takes care of you. Mm -hmm. Now it's you take care of you. And networking is a big part of that. And you have to be comfortable networking. Um, do you go to networking events or you just primarily network with people you know? I primarily network with people I know. Well, mm -hmm. actually, there's two sides of it. So primarily with people I know. And then I look at kind of where I want to be, who has that job, and how am I going to get there? Okay. So a lot of it now, hmm. what I use today is LinkedIn. So if I see someone has you know, a, the job that I want, the organization I want, I will go through my contacts, who do I have in person, uh, in, in common with them. In common, yeah. And then I will you know, I'll reach out to that person and be like, would you mind setting up an introduction? And a lot of people, they're, they're fine about it. Wow. You know? Yeah, they're more than happy to yeah. help. People, yeah. are more than, people are more than happy to help you nowadays. You just have to be the one that, that initiates it. You know, it's interesting because a lot of people don't use LinkedIn to its full advantage. And it's very, very funny. Um, recently, a friend of mine from my Sony days, mm -hmm. um, she called me up. She was in a panic. She was applying for a job at Sony. She was trying to go back to Sony. She had over 20 years of experience there. She calls me up, she's in a panic, and she's reading, she's going through filling out the online form, the HR form for Sony. And she's like, I'm not sure what to put here, I'm not sure what to put there. And I said to her, why are you filling out an online form at a company that we have tons of contacts at? Mm -hmm. And she froze. A lot of people are really afraid to get on the phone and reach out to people that they know. And I said, we know tons of people. You should not be going through HR. You should be yeah. going right to people that can either speak to HR or speak to the hiring agent. You want to get as close to what, what's called the buyer. You know, the HR agent is usually like the first gate you have to get through. Mm -hmm. But you want to get as close to the buyer as possible. And networking helps you do that. Yeah. So P.S., she picks up the phone. She starts calling people. Because at the end of the day, you want to be sophisticated when you're an, on an interview or when you're in a networking situation. And the quickest way you do that is getting your people skills down and using the phone, you know, reaching out to people like that, having maybe an informational interview is part of that. Yeah. So she picked up the phone. P.S., she got the interview. We're waiting to see if it, she got the job. It's amazing how far that goes. And what I like to do, too, is... Whether it's if it's an area I want to get into, I will reach, you know, I'll have someone make the contact. I'll be like, let's go out for coffee. Let's, Great. you know, just something small, something casual. The other day, I actually went into somebody's office, threw a contact, yeah. sat down. She gave me an hour and a half of her time. Wow. Which, you know, nowadays, that's, that's a long time. And it wasn't oh, yeah. very casual. So now, down the line, obviously, keep in contact with her. And you never know. Like, I'm the type of person, too, where, and I think it's important for people, if you can build that trust early on mm -hmm. you just keep it going when everybody when there's a job opening you're not just calling up oh there's a job hey i haven't talked to you in months you have to continually get to that point continually yes. network with them yes and then who's top of mind and that's the key too you have to stay on someone's radar too